Oh, okay. I say, don't, don't scare me like that. I thought you were. No, man, I got a battery. You see, I'm good. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. Good luck, man. Uh, Lewis. Lewis Andrew. Andrew, pleasure to meet you, man. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see me. Um, so, it is uh, first tournament of the season. Lines in in about two minutes. And, uh, guys, it's been a hard practice. Every time I come down here to this lake, I get challenged in such difficult ways. You know, I came down sick, you know, the night before, started feeling sick and, and coughing and just had boogers everywhere and you know practice was super hard the weather was tough every every time I've been down here the weather has been tough you know and uh, guys I'm just gonna get out here and fish hard and do everything that I can and uh, I'm, I'm really just trying to get a limit today I came out here because at the championship I had two days where I caught four fish but I couldn't catch a limit and that just stuck with me you know it just it just really stuck with me and I was like, you know what, I'm coming back here. I wanna figure this out. So uh, I thought I was gonna have a much better practice, but I didn't. And uh, hopefully, guys, hopefully we can put something together today. That's the desire, but let's pray, let's get started. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this beautiful morning. Lord, thank you for the outdoors. Thank you for every person that's watching me here and now. I pray that you would bless them, Lord. And that you would be with them, Father God, through every circumstance in this life. God, I thank you for every angler out here, every person on this body of water. I pray that you would keep us all safe and take us home to our families, Lord. That's what really matters at the end of the day. But thank you for allowing us to enjoy creation, for allowing us to enjoy the sport of fishing the way we get to. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, let's fish. Guys, we just caught a giant. We just caught a giant on this grass point with the with the Nico rig. Oh my god. Jeez. Wind is howling, y'all. First fish of the day is a tank. 19 incher. Alright guys. First fish of the day is a good one. 19 and a quarter. Let's see if we can do it again. Man, it is cold, it is cold, it is cold. That wind, oh, that wind drops it a lot, huh? Right, guys number two on the day guys on the drop shot in the grass so uh, today's a strange day for me out here on Seminole this is not what I thought I'd be doing just working these uh just working this big ditch and they're here they're just real finicky just gotta be patient keep making smart decisions Him. 
All right, number two, guys. Oh, I see them. Ooh, there's a gang of them there. Ooh. One drop shot is somewhere in there. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh. Uh, I don't know if he's 12. What are you doing down here, fella? He's not gonna do anything. guys just a couple more casts in this area and then we're fishing the point before you know the major part of the ditch so oh. there's still fish in there All right, guys, there's number three. It's a little bit slower. Oh, these photos kill me. All right, I think I got it. All right, guys, number three. Guys, number four. Oh man, that's exciting. <clears throat> fifteen, fifteen. That was the first bite that I actually like felt like I felt the tick tick where I didn't think, oh man, it's just grass. I think I don't have any weight on this thing, or do I? Yeah, it's still in there, okay. All right guys, this spot that I'm fishing right now, during practice, I found fish in similar spots. Patterns like right there. Here's the main issue. The spots are really spread apart. It's a 40 minute ride away from the boat ramp. I'm already 30 minutes away. It's not, you know, that's a little too far in terms of making it back on time. I gotta make up my mind right now. Either I start covering water with a jerk bait or a spinner bait, or I ride out to the next area like this one. Tough call. 
Either way, it's time for me to leave this spot. Gosh, it's a good one, guys. Okay, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Yes. I can't believe that, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's go, guys. Oh, baby. Guys. It's another good one. I'm not saying I won the tournament, but man, it feels good to catch a limit. This is a decent little fish. I don't know what he's gonna measure, but limit it is, oh, it's 1218. We have time to do a little more damage. I can't believe we're catching donks on Seminole on that cast 12 pound line, the braid, and six pound floral. I can't believe that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Don't ever give up man. God is good It's all through the grace of God. That's That's all there is to it. It's all through the grace of God Hey, GoPro, stop recording. Is my back camera recording? No! I can't believe I wasn't recording that, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm not saying I won the tournament, but man, it feels good to catch a limit. Ooh. This is a decent little fish. I don't know what he's gonna caught a limit. It is, oh, it's 1218. We have time. It's uh, Sungill. There we go. I love that color, Sungill. Fifteen seventy-five. All right, guys. So here's where we're fishing. Here's the main channel. Green is fifteen plus feet, so that's pretty deep here. Um, and I'm staying right on the edge of green and purple here. So this is where the main ditches and depressions and deeper holes are. And then the grass starts right there in that purplish area. And so the fish are in and out of there. And um, if you have timber, that's even better. I gotta get out of here, it's 2.45, um, because I've got two fish to submit like last time. So we gotta get out of here, find, you know, reception or go back to big gyms and then um, submit our fish. Made some adjustments, stayed calm, remembered what I learned in practice even though I didn't catch fish. Let's go get these fish logged in. Y'all hang on with me for a little while. Hey GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> 